to Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition full playthrough. Boy, do I have something to show you today. Thanks to one of the fine, fine modders over on the Final Fantasy XV Discord, the official subreddit Discord, we have the Final Fantasy Versus 13 outfit as an available mod. It is a tiny bit glitchy. You see my pants kind of clip through the coat there, and there's a little bit of junk in the trunk, if you know what I'm saying. But I think, overall, it looks quite good. So, huh. we're gonna try and play with this a little bit. The cloth effects are a little glitchy too, but we'll mess around with this for a while, just to play with it, because it looks cool. As far as Versus 13 stuff goes, this is kind of the only thing I give a shit about. And like, not even because the outfit looks good, it only looks that good, but just because it's kind of a, like a relic of the time. It's the one memento of the whole Versus thing that I care about. So we'll keep it as we are want to do. And I have some kind of like allergies or like clogginess in my throat, so if you hear something weird in my voice, that's why. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arnie. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? I suppose. I suppose we shall, Arden. If that is your real name, which I do not think it is. Well, it is. Kinda. Boy, you walk slow. Get on here. Let's go. Actually, in other Versus 13 news, someone found a bunch of cut dialogue and, like, just random pieces of, uh, text scattered around the disc. Some of which seems to be, have been from Versus, so that's interesting. Did you see that over there, Noct? What about it? Where? You never what? stop snapping away, do you? Nope. These shots of you will sell for a pretty gill. <laughs> Who's gonna buy them? Well, there's bound to be some suckers out there. If not, well, I'll still have the memories. Let's try this. Let's not. And say we did. Anyways, let's not keep Arden waiting. Hello, patient man. All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. I ride with you. You might find the cab fare to be more than you bargained for. <laughs> you drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. I have so much XP over everyone else thanks to that Iris quest line. Damn you, Iris. Keeping my levels out of sync. Not that they were quite in sync, but oh well. Prompto's always a little bit off. That's not a bad photo. Ah, oh, yes. That time when uh, the Falchion took over. Huh. Take this one. I always kind of take that one. And hold on to this one, I guess.
Chapter 4, Living Legend As the land is rocked by tremors, Noctis is racked with headaches. The stealth style of Man of No Consequence advises the would-be king to go and heed the Archean's call. Though loath to believe a suspicious stranger, the four fans nevertheless, nevertheless find themselves no recourse but to fall hard to the disc of Cothus, where Titan is said to slumber. The blessing of the gods. We become as gods. We become as gods. Just to be clear, this isn't a race. It is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident will spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish. I don't think there's now. actually a way to rearrange Arden. Hello? First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, Guys? huh? Guys? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. True enough. His clothes do bear some Lucian resemblance, though, if you compare his clothes to Regis's. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Cothus. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. What a creepy old guy. Hey, a broken down car. I'm sure no, that has nothing to do with the quest. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, alright? Yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. I don't know why they make you stop so, at this. So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you hadn't knocked with no checkout time. I'm all for extra sleep. I'm not saying it's easy, but I envy the hunters. I wish I could live like that. That makes one of us, big guy. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeans not going anywhere? Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. I'm good. Thanks for the beast whistle, homie. For I am still young, my blood is true. As my mother before me, I'll work to bring peace to one and all. That mark. I hope she's okay, wherever she's headed. Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady. Freya. Oh. Blessed stars of life and light, deliver us from darkness blight. That is all I can do for now, but trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle. Nah, homie, it's magic. Oh. 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 Thank you, Lady Lunafreya. Oh, Lady Lunafreya. 
I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. We should have done more, like taken her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. Or mine. I'm sure the missus would understand. Y'all are creepy. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Feel sorry for Lady Luna Freya if he doesn't. <laughs> He's got you there, Noct. Everyone would be like, Oh, she could do so much better than him. What does the Oracle need the Prince for anyway? <sighs> Imagination run wild much? I just want to rent some chocobos, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, I rent a chocobo. They are mine forever. I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Woot woot. Rub rum. Use the rub rum. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. But the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguise. Makes you wonder what it's like down there at his feet. Pretty awesome. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, Better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Prompto tries really hard, man. I love these guys. I love hey, the dialogue Nikki. on the way here. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be alright. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed, I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. Just a nice little bit of foreshadowing for you. I do love that. I love it quite a bit. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now. Will you? Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello, it's me. Be so kind as to open up. Wow. That worked? I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. You're a creeper, Art. You're a creeper. I've met some weirdos. I hope we never meet that one again. Whoa! A little harsh there, don't you think? This guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. I was trying to stop to see if I could get out and check out what's in those little huts over there, but it didn't let me. 
Feels bad, man. Also, if I am quiet for extended periods of time for no apparent reason, it's probably because I've muted myself to sniffle and or sneeze because pretty much all day I've been sneezing nonstop, and I don't know so why. Keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire is up to. I did take an allergy pill to uh, help with that. I don't know if it's kicking in or when it's going to kick in. But it's the best I can do for now. I really wanted to stream today, so I'm streaming before I go to bed. These ruins. Looks awesome. And by awesome, I mean incredibly messed up. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, eh, Highness? Let's grab it and go. Before we grab the royal arm here, I do want to make mention. A lot of people think that the Star Scourge, not the Star Scourge, sorry, the, the meteor dropped and brought the, Scar, the Star Scourge about. That, I don't think is possible, honestly, because if you look at this, now that we know this tomb right here, the Tomb of the Mystic, is the first king, meaning excuse me, uh, meaning it's the first tomb ever. It got destroyed by the meteor. You can tell because this tomb's here and the meteor and then boom and then everything's broken. So if the meteor brought the Star Scourge and the first king his tomb was destroyed by the meteor, tomb had to have been there first, meaning the king had to be dead, meaning the king had to have done all the things he's known for, Meaning that a certain someone later that we'll meet in the plot could not have been infected by the Star Scourge at that point. So, that, I, that pretty much the meteor could not have brought the Star Scourge with it. Star Scourge had to come from something else. Unless they just didn't build a tomb for this guy until way after the fact. Actually, that still wouldn't make sense. There's literally no way for there to be a tomb here and then to the meteor to come after and then bring the Star Scourge. And the sword is also one of my favorites, so we're going to use it. Blade of the Mystic, a king rose to protect the world with the Oracle. This was his sword. When swung, it enhances the wielder's prowess. Basically. Here we oh, go again! Show it off this right looks now. huge! Get away! Quickly! Knocked! I got you! Come on, pull yourself up. Ah. Thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. So yeah, that. Uh, ah! Sorry. Wait. God oh, damn it. They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear. Hold up, I'm just looking at my weapons to see if they got messed up. Seems alright. So, the Blade of the Mystic. Except for this weapon here. It's not supposed to be a gun. 
Yeah, Versus 13 finally came out. It's pretty great. It's a good game. I recommend it. Okay, that's right. Maybe this slot is just broken for mods? That's weird. Well, I guess we can't use the Brotherhood Sword. That sucks. I wanted to show that off. Back to the Air Step Sword, I guess. Anyways. Blade of the Mystic. When you finish a Blitz combo with it, gives you a buff. I think it's 100 strength for 10 seconds, something like that? I forget. Yeah, the physics on this thing are a little bit broken, but I don't know. Figured we'd mess with it for a while. That guy just went straight through that wall. Best warp strike. Eat shit. I will kill you! It's an anti-air warp strike. How do you not love that? I think that guy go. It's gonna kill me. Oh, not quite. Uh, excuse me? Oh no, Gladio, no. Gladio, no, not like this. It's hot. It feels like I'm about to combust. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Gladio's stuff is apparently just completely broken. <sighs> Slow as I am to do this, I guess Gladio gets a regular weapon. Man, I need to figure out what's up with that mod. The different mod too than the one I was using before. It's not the Falchion anymore. Disable that. And it's only that one weapon slot, plus the party members. I wonder if I just have to reinstall a mod manager and see if that fixes it. I guess I could technically uninstall it, because it's not like I have any mods of my own to use. In fact, I think any mods of my own are breaking it. Somehow. Shouldn't, but somehow. <sighs> Damn. Hey, over here. No room for error here. <laughs> no time to chill either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over. Hang on. My head. Again. Of all the times. Let's hurry the hell across. Yeah, this sequence looks awesome at nighttime. Like all the the particle effects and the fire. You doing all right? What now? Hey, Titan! What's the big idea? Save it. Get to solid ground first. Faster. Calm down. I'm going as fast as I can. It's not very fast, Gladio. Hurry up! Kinda busy here. Hello, giant figures. Almost there. Talk. So do I. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Let's move. That looked pretty demonic from Titan there. What's he up to? Chilling. He's just chilling. Sure, why not? Man, that looks good. Particles. That's the Tony. Were you here when I was talking? Like. A few minutes ago, about the idea of the Star Scourge bringing, or the meteor carrying the Star Scourge to the planet. And how, now that I stare at the uh, tomb of the Mystic and realize that the, the meteor broke it, uh, that theory is completely impossible. Because the king, uh, the first king, was around when uh, 
he who should not be named was around sick of your endless whining. and doing his Calm cure thing. Down. Get off my back. But Tomb was Are broken by the meteor, blood? so. Or aren't you? Uh, yeah. Of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We, Amicidia, are the king's sworn shields. Guard the king with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. Yeah, I've heard that theory Sorry, a few times. But I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? But isn't that your phone? <sighs> Ignis. You're fair. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial Company. It's about to get even hotter in here. Just what I needed. But yeah, I've heard that theory a couple times, and I never really bought it. it wasn't my theory. I wasn't a big fan either. Uh, but it's kind of nice to like, look at the in-game and be like, No, that theory's actually not really possible. So I'm glad people can stop using it now. We finally made it. Just because Final Fantasy VII did it doesn't mean that this game is doing it. Prepare yourself for the power of the sick ass sword. Eat it. No. Oh. The sword is too slow, it's not usable. Yeah, it's basically, it's just like, oh, the meteor, oh no, the meteor brought the Star Scourge, but if the tomb of the person who first combated the Star Scourge was broken by the meteor, it's just not possible. I just really got annoyed by that theory, because it just seemed like people only wanted it because it was Final Fantasy VII. Eat my ass. You know, daggers. Yeah, me too. I do find lore interesting. Especially Dark Souls lore. I followed the trail as far as it'll go. What now? I'm here! <laughs> what the hell is it you want? Quit screwing with my head! You gotta be kidding me. Get wrecked. And now it's running time. Oh, I'm stuck here for this one. GTFO, son. Are you all right? I owe you one. This ain't gonna work. This song's so good. Best advice you've given all day. Well, I can't have you dying here. Come on. I think I prefer this to the oh god, uh, hydrogen version. Damn it! We're sitting ducks here. Hurry! Yeah, don't need to tell me. Running. 
Sure, I applaud you. Everything about this sequence is awesome, except for the actual Just fighting part. Quit. The lead up to the fight is awesome. Don't like the fight very much. I mean, it's completely inoffensive, but it's also not great. Yeah, run! Gladio, hurry! I can't keep this up. Later. I have superhuman strength out of nowhere. I was holding X. What the hell? It's me holding X again. Okay, thanks for that. Sword of the Wise, bitch. I don't mind a good cinematic boss fight. Is that like this? There's two kinds of fights. There's like fights that are just fucking awesome fights, and then there's fights that are good for cinematic and or emotional reasons. This kind of hits the cinematic one, kinda, not entirely, but it gets there. Uh, where's my buff? You know what? Fuck this. Awesome. Uh, I want to hit a thing. No? Oh, I didn't know the armature time Did was for What the fuck hit me? What? What? What hit me? Yeah, ideally, you could get something out of it for both out of the I think sometimes it's good to just have a boss that's just a sick ass boss or the other way around the notes. You just want a, a really emotional boss. Cause like imagine if you had a, a really emotional boss but the boss was hard as shit so you had to do it like four times. It kind of loses the emotional impact after the fourth, the second time. Like the second you die the first time. Whoa! If you like die once in a really emotional boss fight, you're like, okay, I get it. Uh, please let me do the fight now. Oh no! Everyone regroup. I'm losing more HP to fall damage. I'm not paying attention to how far I'm actually falling than I am fighting that. If I stay here forever, does he eventually lose all his HP to the uh, Flame Soldiers? Yeah, that Immortalis quote unquote fight is a bigger. Fucking laughing stock of a quote unquote fight that I've ever seen. All here. Let's do it. Let's go. Eat shit, boys. Wait, that was it? I mean, I guess. Alright, screw you, Imperial soldiers. Duck. Oh. Not kind of how I should, or, uh, or not kind of sure how I did. I was holding square again. I even had the fate. I even had the phase animation. Or the particle back. I think I got hit. Something, something just broken. Not sure about that one. I had bros, right? No? Thank you. Thanks for that. Well, I just want to kill a couple more of these 
guys. Actually, can I play someone else in this fight? No, had to be not, yes. Okay. Should be the guys with the weird grapple attack the regular henchmen have. Hey, are we all still here? And yeah, no, yeah. I don't think killed these guys actually does anything. A little battered. Does this mean it's over? Uh, what? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up for the big one. I kind of wish that you could do like a new game plus thing, like Legend of the Wind Waker, and then. You came back to this spot type would be speaking English, you can understand what he's saying. Because, like in Wind Waker, there's characters that speak uh, a made up language, and the text is written in undecipherable script. But if you come back in New Game Plus, you that can understand what they're saying, Luna. which is pretty awesome. You spoke with her, that's why. Ah! Also, I dislike that you can never come back to this spot after uh, this scene. I'd like there to be something hidden here. Get much worse than this. Maybe like an extra boss fight that shows up here. In theory, the, the magma would cool down. Oh uh, yeah, they're dumb Albad language. You here? It occurs to me I never formally introduced myself. Izunia! Arden Izunia! Imperial Chancellors, yeah? At your service, and more importantly, to your aid! I guarantee your safe passage. Though you're always welcome to take your chances down there. Buried among the rubble, is it? Dying here is not an option. We have no choice now at all. I know. You could probably work st warp strike out. There's a world edition scene coming up. Is it bridge the gap between chapters four and five? That's an incredibly jarring transition. I like fictional languages in video games as long as they provide you a way to get the actual dialogue out of them in a real life language. Like, I don't want someone to just translate it for me. I want to actually be able to read the text for myself at some point, even if it's just New Game Plus or something. Man, that shot looks good. What is that in the top left corner? What is that weird red shape? That like bright pink, whatever the heck that is. That is weird. Chapter 5, Dark Clouds. As Kothus crumbles, the Imperial Chancellor swoops in to usher the four friends to safety. But the reprieve is only temporary as Duskai's skies tell of trouble on the horizon. The regalia missing and the roads closed, the four find themselves stranded. As Kothus crumbles? That that entire region is called Kothus, I guess. Okay. I guess I never really put that together, but that does make sense. Oh, thank the gods I found you boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I say. Pretty generous offer. 
for an Imperial. Calm now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. It's nice that the ship's or Imperial technology has gotten rid of all air turbulence. You find that car of yours. Okay, is that it? High Commander Ravis Oxlare issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in the sky. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archeans who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we dispel. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! How's it going, Umbra? I appreciate the effort in regards to that scene, but uh, that scene was both incredibly lazy and not super duper helpful. Like, it was just three still shots stitched together with some dialogue. Like, I don't know. It helps, I guess. It just doesn't look very good. Titan place was called the Disc of Cothus. Yeah, I always just thought, like, that area in particular was called the Disc and not really... Cothus region, but I guess if you open up us a message. the map, I guess there is like parts of around here that are called. Uh, I thought there was like a Cothus Plains or something, Cautionary Plains. I mean, that's why. I guess this whole region is just called Cothus. Okay, sure. For some reason I thought there was places around it called Cothus. Do 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 do. Come, Umbra. Come back, boy. Come to me, silly doggo. <sighs> Gentiana. Hear me, O King of the Storm. By the Storm Cinder's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened? The Oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna, where is she now? The Eye of the Storm. <sighs> when the Covenant is forged, the Oracle and Ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. <sighs> She's a messenger. A spirit. Faithful to the Oracle. Oh, uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Yeah, agreed. Not my favorite piece of cinematography, but I guess it's a free scene. Well, is it a free scene? Was it in the update or was it part of Royal Edition? 
Oh, okay. Take care, man. <sighs> Let's do this one. Oh, it's gotta be nice to Luna. These allergies are getting a little hard to handle, so I'll probably go for like half. Let there more. Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the king of light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kayim may serve us now as it did them then. The Hidden Harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Ira set it up. So, in the meantime, head into the storm. Another day, another deity. Sounds like one of them plan things. <sighs> Come on, Chocobo Easy friend. Now. Whoa, hold up. Is that a steam achievement? It looks very different. It's time. Also, it showed up in OBS. Gotcha. So was that an in-game achievement? <sighs> I'm very confused. Are the Square Enix achievements? Fuck. I, I'm very confused about that thing that just popped up. Because <laughs> I know... I saw it on the stream, so it was part of the game, which is the weird part. Because, uh, the Steam overlay stuff doesn't appear in OBS when I'm streaming this game. But I specifically told it not to hook that stuff. So I'm confused. Whee! Nah, I missed it up. There's like some way you can use the, the slide. Yeah, like that to get your stamina back. Ah, uh, Dragantoad. No, thank you, good sir. Not today, you won't. I will ride my chocobo unto dawn. Good thing I have chocobos, because holy crap, this is far. Thanks. Really? Eh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's fight some Imperials. What is it to get off? I forget. I thought it was X. Is it not X? Well, no one hit them. Should be good practice. I'm pretty sure it was X. X doesn't appear to be doing anything. There we go. Don't die on me. I'll draw him in and you take him out. That should work. No, thank you, good sir. He's looking pretty rough. And charge! Get him. Let's go! 
Roger. Here goes. Oh, You ready for this? Boom! You are extremely good, Dad. And you're not looking too hot either, Axe. Surprised that guy didn't fall down. Look at this guy. Get to him. Ship prompt. What happened to you, dude? Wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, what's the armor doing this? A lot of dudes all of a sudden. Where you all come from? I'll let go of guard for half a second. You know, I don't need this potion. Because I got regrouped. Oh, vulnerable dudes. Oh, vulnerable dudes. You're on fire today. There we go. still isn't good enough. Now with that attitude, it isn't. That was pretty rad. I'm starving to death, and yet we're all very much alive. Come, strange chocobo thing. It looks vaguely like a chocobo, but I can't quite tell Better if it is up. chocobo. Also, I miss having a level 7 chocobo. <laughs> having one that's not extremely fast is sucky. Hey, one of the mechs. Let's not worry about it. Hey, congratulations. Whistle mid fight and your trusty steed may help you flee. Nah, I'm good. Although I've never actually done that, so I don't know what happens. Maybe I should try it. I'm not sure if that just means like I can get on the chocobo and run, or if that means it comes and punches something in the face for me. I guess we'll find out next time I see an enemy. Ah, one of them rune stones. Ah, thanks, buddy. Is recovering well. Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind. Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king. And the Oracle enjoys such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the Storm Sender awaits the King. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true King's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. Man, what I don't remember it? those scenes at all. Uh, another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archeon. Doubt it will. Uh. Just random thought. Come here, Chocobo. Let's go. 
I'm gonna try running from the fight. The Oracle's call awakens the gods. That their blessings bind the king. You alright? What did she say? Ah, uh, that Luna's awakening the six. I mean, I could have told you that. You know, I've never actually gone back to check. You know how in the episode Death Guy demo they had swords hidden around that gave you special armature powers? Because, like, the armature wasn't a thing quite yet. I wonder if those swords are still in the rocks. I can't remember if there are many physical swords. There's at least one in a rock over near that part of Death Guy we were just in. Never actually thought to go and check, I don't think. Or if I did, I don't remember. I kind of doubt they're still there. Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far worse off than we are. Uh, like, I kind of figure they're probably not there, but it'd be cool if they were. It'd be even better if they did something, but they don't. <laughs> All those abilities got turned into just regular abilities you have by having a royal arm. Or ascension abilities. Like blocking bullets, that's just a royal arm thing. Um, what else did you have? Impervious is an ascension ability. Knocked. Go overhead. Yeah. What else was there? I don't even remember. There's impervious, block bullets, armature, something else. Uh, what was I gonna check? Oh yeah, the ascension grid. Oh, we almost have enough for Pervious. We're getting there. Okay, I'm actually gonna stop ride. here. Another one to wrap up quick. Start this fight. Good chance to earn some experience. What does this do? Is this a game to you? Sort of. Just trying to level up here, dude. Okay. So it's just like auto mount to be rescued by a prank. Go back to sleeping. Please. Whoa. I don't know. I thought it would like auto run me out of there or something. My chocobo is still piecing it. Did you guys really get fucked by that? Yeah. Wouldn't be the same without you, Ignis. Thank you. Come on, Gladio. Let's show his boss. Whoa. Got him. Got those guys too. Your move. I'm gonna keep using it, and eventually, it's gonna have a reason for being. Except it will never will, really. Later, duders. Not a moment too soon. Time for some well-earned R and R. And still not enough. Where's the choco? There you are. We. On we go. Magitek engine. It's close. Jesus, a lot of Imperial soldiers. I don't usually get ganked by them so often. Oh well. Nothing stopping us from just running, especially on a choco though. These uh, dropships don't stay, which the is interesting. Watch, but the revelation awaits. Make now for the storm sender and let judgment be passed. Not. You okay? Last time I did this, yeah. there was magic Another soldiers here to receive the blessing. 
That divine power is just waiting for you. Earth, thy revelation is the power of the Six Manifest. The stone commands that the king receive it. What was it this time? Said I'm the chosen one. Lucky me. Within the heart of rock lies the runestone, the portal to power. No other can be allowed to find it. <sighs> the last one's in the cave. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Finally, time to meet with the storm center. Yeah. You better look the best. This will be quick. There we go. Ah! Wonder where you guys were. Ah! Yeah! Quick and easy. Eat shit. Oh, hold up. You. Ready? Oh, yeah. Super dead. I could finish it, but he's basically screwed, so. I'm gonna do a little bit of instant killing, or auto killing rather, not instant killing. I think it was around here that the Griffin like was, right? Fun. I wanna fight the Griffin in the rainstorm, this sounds like fun. I saw it in that cutscene. Should be around here somewhere. Is that a Magitek engine over there? What's up, ass Tony? Back again. Just can't stay away. Where is that Griffin? How come that lady's helping you out anyway? Gentiana? Yeah. Is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Whoa. Where are you, Griffin? I saw you in the cutscene. You should be here. The Griffin's not a monster you have to spawn with a hunt, I'm pretty sure. Jerk. Imperials above us! Thanks. Jerk all Griffin. Easy now. That's such a good line. I like that line. Arden's got the best lines. Well, Ignis does too. Ignis and Arden. Yeah. Best lines. No, no Griffin, I guess. Oh well. Feels bad, man. I wanted to fight the Griffin in the thunderstorm because it sounded like fun, but... No dice. Hello, how's it going? Oh, that emo does show up in the chat tonight. Or in the on screen chat. Up. Awesome. No luck. Yeah. Probably got her phone on silent. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot of good quotes out of this game. And then uh, gigantic meme quotes as well. Best of both worlds. Skybox, man. Weather effects in this game are so good. <laughs> Whee! Give me like a level seven chocobo already. First time flying on a ship like that. One more item to cross off the bucket list. We're gonna be crossing a lot of items off that bucket list by the end of this. Oh, I have vivid memories of fighting dread behemoths on this these planes in episode this guy. That was a fight. That was hard. I think kick the crap out of you. So is Gentiana, you know, human? Not quite. While not exactly gods, messengers are divine entities. 
Just like the Oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in Divine. Yeah, the versus costume is a mod. It's very slightly glitchy, as you can tell. But it's good enough to mess yeah. around with. Wasn't there like a hard edge over something here if I get this treasure spot? Forget exactly. We'll meet again. If I had the time and know how, I'd try to mess with this mod myself and fix up the physics, but. Oh well, I've got the, the time nor the knowledge. Well, I kind of have the time, but not Let's the knowledge. Fish. Like a kid in a toy shop. We ain't fishing, Nocto. I wish they use this weather again, by the way. Random thought. Is it this the hard edge? Oh, that was a treasure spot, but maybe it's just a random thing. Can I get off my chocobo? I am holding down the button. There we go. No, building stone. Where the hell is it? I know it's around here somewhere. So, like, around here, maybe? Equations. Uh, wrong way. One of these random treasure orbs is just sitting around. Knocked! Overhead! Maybe I'm wrong? Maybe I'm just crazy. But I swear. So if Gentiana's not mortal, then she doesn't ever grow older? Yeah. <sighs> to be forever young. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for it. What is that over there? Huh. Ooh, they dropped a mech for me. How cute. That's a Garula. Why is that targeting a Garula? Glitch. I guess. It's not the footprints. And then they just kind of go away. Awkward. Hmm. Don't want to rest though. Where's the haven? The haven's right there. Don't want to rest. Get the food buff to make the dungeon easier. Already? I guess so. Time flies when you're having fun. Wee. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Better nerd. Nerd old chocobo. Do, 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 do. And then this is a poison weapon, I think, for this treasure spot. Let's find out. Calamity. I believe that is it. Nightmares this time in the dungeon. The snakes or the goblins or the cramped spaces? I can do serious practice. I guess so. Get up me AP, right? Let's do it. Is the training with Aranea only in post game? I've never actually done that. Just don't get too carried away. Oh, okay, never mind. That makes sense then. Hey, you jerk face. Oh, I was swapping weapons. How dare you. Can I do damage, please? Come on, Glide. I know you're strong, but you're not that strong. This no, thank you. Does it not have a one-shot move? I don't remember that. I guess I'll find out. I know it could turn into a frog and that was annoying. Damn you fast. If you want to find out why PvP would be bullshit in this game, look no further than this. 
Because that's exactly what it would be. It's just one guy doing the phase over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And, over and then kill you. Oh yeah, for level 1 it's going to wreck you. Definitely. Alright, Iggy. Grass is grass. Sorry I had to be this way. Damn it. Oh, you're strong against great swords. News to me. Calm down, Iggy. Reasons why I want a pervious. Are you not done yet? There we go. I hit B. Oh, shit. Is this gonna... make me auto-lose? That all you got now? Yeah. A <laughs> whole lot more where that came from. Guess I should've used an item. Let's try it again. Let's do this! Ah. You're fast when you feel like it, Gladio. There's the damn shadows. Whoa, hello. Now it's your turn. Look at me, I'm holding down circle. Now I'm holding down triangle. Get shit on Gladio. What did I think of E3? There's like a bunch of games that I'm interested in, but it's all, a lot of the games they announced or showed off for the first time are like 2019 games. I'm just like kind of disappointed by that. Like Anthem is coming out relatively early in 2019, but still a 2019 game. So I'm like, yeah. I thought Sony's conference was the weirdest one. Because they showed cool stuff like Death Stranding and Ghost of Tsushima, which looks awesome. But uh, they had like the weirdest paced press conference. Which made it really awkward. I bet a lot of people are going to be mad at the Sony press conference because it was paced like shit, so it just felt like nothing happened. Yeah, that's too hot. How dare you, Prompto. Code Vein, I'm definitely uh, excited for Code Vein, but that, that wasn't showing any 3 I don't think. Nah. Holy crap. Less excited you are for it. Up for more. I think it still looks alright. It's got like a look to it, and it's made by the God Eater people, so I really. I'll give them a fair shake because God Eater. Did I really get. How dare you prompt us? Strong against great swords. Yeah, not a lot coming out. When I saw that announcement for Neo 2, I wanted to play Neo. So, I think the, the summer sale is going to come soon for uh, Steam, so I'll probably get the clean version of God or uh, Neo then. If I get it, I'll probably stream it. So, you can watch my stream, I guess. 
I guess I should say if I get it. I mean, when I get it. No, I was trying to hit Prompto over here. Okay, let's, you know, let's use this. Better than a potion, so I can just do this for a while. Eat shit, Prompto. I saw the message and told Thread to respond to it. I don't know, Tomb Raider seems alright. Tomb Raider, uh, the new Tomb Raider games I totally see as being good games, but they're just not really my thing. I don't know why. I've never really been enticed to play them. I own the first one. I forget why. Oh, geez. That was a close one. That could have ended my streak. Because look, downside. I was holding down square. I was supposed to keep track of all the games I actually got talked about today so I could make a list. I was going to make a video on YouTube talking about all the games that I saw that I was interested in. Definitely want to check out Anthem. As like a, a mild fan of Destiny, I think it could be pretty fun. Oh yeah, she's uh, got Sekiro, I think it's called. Uh, whoops, I look over my guard. It was bad. Sekiro looks fucking cool as shit. Ah! So excited for that. I see what you mean about not really gonna be able to do PvP the same. Oh, hello. I think my favorite game that was shown at a press conference was uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I really do like the Witcher's games, and that looks like the Witcher, but in right Japan, here. you can remain awake, like old Japan, eat. and that sounds that sounds like right up my alley. The grappling hook in Sekiro looks cool. I like that you can use it in combat. That's going to open up a lot of different uh, options. Brrr, what kind of thing should I get? Can I get poisoned here? I forget. Eh, it's probably fine. Let's go for... Eh, got rid of the sandwich, I guess. There's poison. Eh, it's fine. The Neo 2 trailer is kind of just like 10 seconds of CG of a dude fighting an Oni. It's not much to look at. But it did say Neo 2 on it, so... Yeah, probably a 2020 game. Unless the development's already out, which I don't think it is. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Feeling refreshed. Well, the tent lets you stretch out a bit more. Oh, Cyberpunk 2077. I didn't really get to see any gameplay of that. But man, that game was cool. Cyberpunk is such a good theme, thematic. Yeah, dude, the the kooky chocobo, whatever the hell it's called. This isn't a chocobo though. This is a chokuki bow. Earthquakes died down. Oh yeah, forgot about those. I'm more sad that I missed out on the Twitch Prime shirt or whatever they were giving away a couple months ago. I thought I redeemed that, but I guess not. So, rip my 100% collection. Sucks to be me. Wonder if I use the old the all outfits cheat again if it'll show up. 
Look at the chocobo. It's so derpy. It's so perfect. Because it's so derpy. I should put my PS4 into the stream. We should play episode Death Guy after this. Just to compare the dungeon. pretty close. Which means we must be as well. And all of episode or all of the Death Guy region quest stuff. Cause that's episode Death Guy was this dungeon and some rending around in this area. Look, over there. I bet that's the spot lightning struck. Probably and not. We're supposed to go inside. Here we are. Fosha Hollow. No telling what waits inside. Stay sharp. Always. Uh, we're drifting into the deep end. I can't quite make out how deep it runs. Whoa. Ah! I've got a bad feeling about this place. As if danger lurks around every corner. Avoid all corners. Got it. Ancient Dragon Tooth. Havel was here. Heavy rain, strong wind. Let's see. It's a good weather combo. It hasn't rained in my area in like a couple weeks. It drizzled a little bit a few days ago, but that doesn't really count. Tight squeeze. Huh. Maybe for you. Pretty easy for me, though. It's because you have no muscle, Prompto. On second thought, maybe not. It's because you're fat, Prompto. <laughs> Shh. Keep quiet. Who? What? Where? Ah, imps. Oh, did you guys see the... Someone mine. Someone on the Final Fantasy 15 subreddit mined some old cut lines and uh, random pieces of text from uh, this game. Some of it's from verses. Some of it's from uh, older versions of 15. Some interesting stuff on there. Looks like there's some cut lines in Episode Gladio, where I guess it might have been Gilgamesh or someone. Uh, I guess we could crawl through. Don't lose Who's like head. talking about the first king and fighting the first king's brother. That's that? it. Went to Dusk Guy a few weeks ago. I've come up with a new recipe. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I can taste this for you. Oh yeah, like it's totally just uh, episode Dusk Guy put together. There's some ideas from there that I liked. But, I don't know. On a whole, this is, the final game is better than episode Dusk Guy. A couple of random ideas, notwithstanding. Oh no. The bombs! The bombs need to go, man! Ah. Someone make the bombs stop! Damn, you thunder! Ah. Get me out of this horrible mess. Everyone form up! Sure. Are we alright? Getting by. Where is frame rate? What is happening? Die. Monster. You don't belong in this world. Alright, we're done here. Yeah, I agreed. But here's a question. Do you like how awesome and like fluid the great swords feel in Episode Desk Guy compared to this? Because I don't feel like shit. I guess I can actually use the Brotherhood here, huh? And then what do I want to put here? You know, let's, let's use a uh, let's use a little lance. Why not? I haven't used one in a while. Buy the axe. And ascension, more importantly. Yeah, they do. We Kratos now, boys. Oh yeah, here, hold up, check this out. What's your problem? How about you Brotherhood sword from Final Fantasy X. Hurt. How about I cut it out? <laughs> it never ends. 
I like the idea of skills. I definitely do not like how they're implemented in uh, episode of this guy. Like having to toggle between a menu where you only select one at a time and having a dedicated button to it. Not really my style. Uh, one thing I did like is how every weapon had like an effect on it. Like, oh, and then like, not just that, but like different classes of weapons had different uh, family attributes. Like the the spears were good at critting, I think it was something like that. And then, right, uh, great swords generally gave you MP back, that sort of thing. I liked that a lot. I wish that made its way into this final game. Because here it's just like, I don't know, this one uh, this one does more damage when you're in danger, I guess? I don't know. Would have been cool if you could have got like deck bonuses. Or like having two or three spears, you get like hella crit or something. Yeah, they could have just put it on L2, because you literally don't fucking use L2 for shit. Like, how do you not use... How do you... How do you generalize your actions in a game where, like... By that I mean, like, you have one attack button that does all of your attacks. You have one defense button that does all of your attacks. You have one warp button that does all of your warp shit. How do you generalize your buttons like that to the point that it's spread across the entire controller? And then just never use L2. How does that happen? And they're like, we don't have enough buttons to do this, guess we'll just scrap it. Motherfucker, what are you talking about? Gotta try. Where to now? Should I make magic for this? Huh? But summon! Yeah, because I'm summoning all the goddamn time. <laughs> It's not like they couldn't just put that on one of the technique menus. No, oh, I meant to add an effect to that. Rip me, I suck. And we'll just get rid of the foot. No, you know what? Screw that. Play the Mystic's too good. Rip the spears. They could have just made one of these damn cross menus right here and put someone at the bottom. Ah! Well, I didn't really mean to use it, but I guess I'm dead now. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, tapping doesn't do anything either. They could have put L2. They could have made L2 do something. I don't know. Like how whenever someone asks me like how would I improve the combat system, I'm always like hold or press L2 to do like an ultimate attack with your weapon of choice. We've done that for tapping. Or something. Fuck, man, I don't know. How do they just, like, for they just forgot L2 exists pretty much. They designed this game for a GameCube controller. That's what they did. They're technically not in combat. What's happening? There we go. Damn you, you're electric bro. I like how I was so excited to get impervious so I could not worry about taking damage anymore and then I just that been sucking with it. Frack. Okay, where am I going? I'm going this way. Ah, I may as well stock up on fire. I just but yeah, I just how do you just forget about a button? Like, honestly. Honestly. God damn. I can't, like, model for shit. So you're never gonna get, like, a new mod out of me, really. Uh, I'm an okay level designer. So maybe I can make a cool quest or two if I try really hard. But you know what I am good at? Designing shit. So you better believe that if the full real deal mod tools come out, I'm gonna design me a goddamn redesigned thing. I can't animate, 
so Ooh. maybe I won't be able to add new attacks or something. Maybe I could steal animations from other weapons and put them as you can attack for weapon classes. What was that sound? <laughs> so you you better believe that I'm gonna try and make some combat additions when those mod tools come out. <laughs> yeah, they could have put what happened? Hey, they could have put items on R3 when you're in combat and then freed up R2 for attack stuff as well. Just like, ah, There's so much they could have done. They could have put, like, they could have put R2 for, like, um, contextual okay? warping or something. No, I'm not okay! This place is literally the worst! And why did it have to be a snake? That thing dragged me all the way over here! Get shit on with this axe, son. We got a war now. Then we keep sending him back. Well, like it could have been. Damn that range. R2 could have been like contextual warping. So it could have been like if I'm sprinting, and I press R2. Noctis like does a warp, flips over a guy. Now he's in the air. Over here. Oh yeah, it's definitely like they just couldn't fix it. Like, they used to have contextual and or warping stuff in, like, some of the pre-release. At least in that original demo, which wasn't a game, but we can pretend it was a game for this purpose. How dare you. So, like, they definitely wanted to try it, and I'm pretty sure they probably wanted us to be able to warp wherever we wanted, whenever we wanted, but there's probably too many glitches that they could get ironed out. But it's just fun to be like, how the fuck did you miss two buttons? Stop now. It's just fun to get them. As much as I love Business Division 2 and how much I love their game, gotta give them some shit. I'm uh, fearing. Your oh, shit, mind flare. Not the rules. Say your prayers. I'm coming for you, imp. Want some? Wonder if that killed me. If it would still trigger the chain link. Probably not. The cross chain. Sorry. Okay. But yeah, as I was saying before I got distracted by fighting, like, if, say, I was sprinting at a dude, and I pressed R2, Noctis would that was a close call. flip into the air above an enemy so I could do, like, a, a dive attack, or if I was running at a warp point and I pressed R2, I could, like, I don't know, auto-warp to the thing and then... My sense were on the right track. Warp. Like, it would be like an auto warp 2 and then bounce somewhere else, sort of thing, or. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, you could have you could have figured out something to do with the extra button. Like, a contextual action, sort of thing. Or, hell, man, they could have just fucking. For R2, they could have just made it a grapple button. You can grab enemies and chuck them. That would have been cool. Hell, they could have just put parry on R2, and then you wouldn't have had to tie it to phasing. You could have just parried enemies, and that would be awesome. Like Dark Souls, just parry everything, and you're good. Parry everything, and be godlike. Actually, another thing that was in the, the really, really old, like, first look at 15 stuff was, uh... Eyes forward. In the, that, mean to do that proof of concept uh, combat thing they showed, Noctis would like yeah. grab an enemy and flip over him, and then be behind him and then start attacking. Say your prayers. Damn you! Taste the power of holy magic. 
Oh, I'm not dead. Awesome. Yep. No, 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 no. We needn't waste more time. Hey, yeah. hold up. We are good. I think better than good. Good to Oh, go. did I warp with the the magic maybe and then swap to the great sword? I was confused because I warped really fast. I'm like, I thought I'd swap to the great sword before I did that. She's here. I just know it. Show yourself already! Cool it. I like this upcoming boss as foreshadowing for the whole plot twist around demons later on. Probably not enough foreshadowing for all that sort of stuff, but I like that they I at least you. had it in some parts. Do something not! Don't ask me, do it yourself. I also like that they're not instantly trying to kill this thing. I don't think there's any like EXP reward or anything for taking one option or the other, so purely what line you get. Which technically, if I wanted to show off the foreshadow I just mentioned, I should have picked the other one. I was going to because the other line. I'm trying to do it backwards. There we go. Feel the power of the axe. The other line would have been like, "Oh, my precious baby." died fast. I wasn't even doing that much damage to it. What was she talking about? It's me. That's the last room stone. Oh, finally. All right. God, this one little spot looks so good. Yep, axe is a mod as well. Those flashes to Luna new for a recent patch? This I don't remember it. those. The power of the storm. Eh, I expected more fire and brimstone. Some gods are friendlier than others, I guess. But not all of them. Poor Luna. Perhaps you'd better console her in person. Just a boat right away. Lose that scowl along the way. Well deal. Yes, thank you. Ah, the Oracle, Divine Priestess of the Gods, charged with watching over the planet. And it's daytime, finally. Hey, it stopped raining! Guess Rama finally got sick of showers. Up there, it's huge! Uh, way bigger than the last one we saw! Yeah? Your car. Yeah. Well, I found her, but she's at a base. Oh. Now I can handle garage folk, no problem. But sweet talk in the Empire, that'll take some doing. Don't worry about it. Yeah? We'll figure it out. You sure about that? Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Later. Who was that? Cindy. What? You can't talk to her like that. Yeah, I can. I just did. And did she have any choice words for you? Yeah, the Regalia's at an Imperial base. Oh boy. Guess that just leaves one question. When do we retrieve her? I'd say now. Now's a good time. This Wait. is nothing more than conjecture, but I suspect that ship was due to arrive far earlier. The thunder and lightning must have slowed it down. There's a chance they intend to transport the Regalia back to Niflheim. We ought to thank the Thunder God for buying us some time. But that time is running out. Yeah, it's running it right off. 
Get shit on more tooth. Yeah, there's so many, like, little changes, they just kind of, like, hide in patches that I, I can never tell what is new and what isn't, because my memory of my first playthrough is very, very poor <laughs> when it comes to that sort of stuff. Uh, what was I going to do? Uh, Elemancy? No. Ascension. Chain Fury. Sure. Let's grab some of these abilities. Boost Warp Strike damage, probably good. Let's see, these only phase Spear Magic. Probably actually do want that. And Air Dancing, I do want that as well. We'll grab this for now. What was that uh, thing about tutorial or new practice drill in the tutorial for Royal Arms? Cause that would have been there already, right? Or at least it would have been unlocked far earlier when I actually got a royal arm. Well, why is it unlocking now? I don't understand. Unless there's something I'm missing. Easy now. Jump. 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 Slide. Slide. Are any of you guys uh, excited for Nintendo's conference tomorrow? Well, not conference, uh, Nintendo Direct. I'm eagerly excited, but also very confused about what they might be showing. I'm not sure how much they actually have. They definitely got Smash Brothers, and I'm guessing that's going to have a fairly large uh, showing. Unless they're just saving most of the information for the invitational thing. Uh... That'll probably show a little bit of Mario Aces, Mario Tennis Aces. Remember, just a scared of us. Maybe a little bit of Easy Pokemon Let's come. Go. And yeah, I'm just kind of confused what they might be showing for their direct. Because they've also got, I think, two or three days of live streaming. And they'll be showing off various games there and making announcements, probably like they did last year. So, confusion. For me, I just want. A few uh, Smash Brothers character reveals. I want that game to come out, or not come out. I want it to get a get a firm release date. B, tell me if it's a port or a full game. Yeah. I think it's leading to new game, but you never know. It might be a port of the Wii U one. And I want a release date for the Relatives with You Final Remix because that game's awesome, and I need it in my life. I want Pikmin 4. So his story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archean as soon as she fled the Crown City. <laughs> you really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. Yeah, I want Pikmin 4 and at least one new IP. Make something cool. They, they invented Splatoon. I trust these guys to make something just weird and off the wall and awesome. Splatoon and Pikmin are some of my favorite Imperial new series of recent memories, Thanks. so... Nintendo, they, they've got my heart. It'd be awesome if they could make Amazing. a new Bomberman game. The power of the gods in the palm of your hands. Never dreamt I'd see lore come to life before my very eyes. Leaving Insomnia was eye-opening, but this is mind-blowing. Preferably, the new Bomberman game would be like the N64 Bomberman games, like uh, Bomberman 64 and uh, 64 Second Attack, or even Bomberman Hero. Those are my favorite Bomberman games. I like the 3D-ness of it more than the top-down. But also, games like Bomberman Party and Bomberman World are really good. We can do Bomberman Racing. Is that rumor there's the or Star Fox Zero, or not Star Fox Zero, uh, Star Fox uh, right racing, whatever it is? What do you do once you found them all? 
The calling is only a set of guiding principles. Well, hopefully it'll guide him into taking down the Empire once and for all. Yeah, like the sound of that. I'm down for that. We Screw you! Really? Again? Uh, that's for the wicked. <laughs> do, 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 do. Slide, slide, jump, jump. Get some of our stamina back. This is far. They really do make you run across this whole map without a car, huh? Fine by me, but... Man, I wish you could go back to the disc after Titan's gone. Your ancestors have our backs, and the gods are on our side. How do they not put Omega cool over that? there? Barry, when That's you a put good it spot way, for a fight. Empire will get what's coming to him. Certainly doesn't seem as unlikely as it once did. It's just a wide open space you only use once, like, come on. They don't even let you fly over with the Regalia type F, really. <laughs> yeah, any strong enemies. What the hell is trying to fight me? Oh, Vortus. I've probably mentioned this uh, several other times, but I just really like it in games when there's lots of powerful monsters just running around and then so the world feels dangerous because like oh shit I walked into the wrong place and now this thing's gonna super kill me hey level four uh... It, the story is not good as one might say you know what we're gonna fight this coral give me a hand will ya hi super hippie yeah get him chocobo I respect you Nope. Nope. They just. Sneaky's looking pretty rough. Propto. Do it, Propto. Oh yeah. Ah. What? Apologies. Uh. Where you go? Get shit on. Guess I slipped up there. You set yourself up for a fool. How are we? Getting by. Whoa. Whoa. Die, you damn coral. Jet. Uh, but yeah, it's not the best story game ever, but one of my favorite games is... Savior RPGs is... Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Primarily just because I love running around the world and fighting stuff, and then like accidentally coming across this monster that's like level 40 and I'm level 7. And then it's like, prepare to get shit on because this thing's gonna kill you. It's gonna like very, very kill you. And you better be ready. Oh no, thank you. All better? I didn't want to stand up, bro. No, really? Okay, no defense. Apparently he was Gladio, I even gave you a shoot. Even if it wasn't a high level enemy, even if it was just I just that wow. Even if it was just like set spawns, just have more of those. That way more chance of me just walking into one. Even if I know where they all are later. Oh, come on. Prompto, why can't you dodge? Importantly, why can't I dodge? Uh, I got a mega potion. When does that happen? Damn you, Coral. It's Ignis time, baby. No! I was trying to get away, but what 
doesn't let me. Also, why is Blizzard still not doing damage? I don't, do not understand. Like Blizzard is just broken. Uh, you want to attack? It took forever with Prompto. <sighs> Used all my things down too. Oh, whatever. I'm sure I won't need them. Hashtag famous last words. But they, anyways, yeah, they were close with the idea because there's giant ass monsters hanging around sometimes. Like the Kujata or the Griffin or that sort of thing. They just needed more of them and or Some random kind of spawns. Fortress. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable though. They are remnants of the old war, and the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. I bet that's something you could add in with level mods. Because you'll be able to like make dungeons and stuff, so obviously you'll be able to place enemies. I wonder if you'll just be able to make like a world spanning quote unquote quest. My chuckle was just hanging out over there, nice. <laughs> I think you can make like a world spanning quote quest where there's just more monsters around. Camping sucks when it rains. You suck when it rains. More working. Of course that won't help people play on console, but it'll help me. Green curry soup's pretty good. Let's do that one. Level me up, bros. Hey, new dishes. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, what? Alrighty then. That is such a dark photo, holy crap. Yeah, this next segment's awesome. And this shot looks great with the Versus outfit. I have never had Prompto take consistently good photos for me. My Prompto sucks. So, any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, Riku in Kingdom Hearts 3 is Sasuke. would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then? We learn all we can about the base's design, and attempt to narrow down the Regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Spex. Alright! We're gonna get our wheels back! This music for this thing is good at... good-ass music, too. It's getting late and I'm starting to not be able to form sentences. Undaunted by the Empire's imposing technology, Noctis and his retinue risk everything to break inside Archeol's stronghold and recover the stolen regalia. Arachiol? I guess that's what it's called. Whatever. Our goal is the regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Ten bucks says I screwed this up immediately. Convenient hole in wall. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three, two, one. Now, get shit on. All right. Not bad. Might still be hope for you. I 
dare these spotlights notice me. Stop. What? Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. <laughs> hey. stealth games. Where did the stealth game genre die? Such a good segment. I bet most people who were used Target to like the blind spot. One hit, JRPs would be one like, kill. why is this here? This damn westernization of my animes or whatever. But man, it's cool to me. I was hoping stealth would be a, like a normal thing too, and in fact I think it's the basic no patches 1.0 version of this game instead of getting uh, measured on finesse, it measured on stealth. And that probably ties in with why the covering mechanic exists at all. There's probably some concept of like drawing aggro, like maybe with Gladio drawing aggro or something and you getting around to blindsiding people. That could have been so cool. The shame was not in there. But at the same time, the base? I've played a too many games generator of some description. where it they have stealth sections the and, and uh, the stealth is I say we broken because it's not a stealth the game. Around. The risk is too great. So it's just Finding frustrating. Regalia comes first. Not a sound. You'll allow the anime. Got it. That's sad, that's not really a problem for 15, because if you mess up the stealth, you just kill everything and it's fine. Uh... Is there an enemy up here? I forget. Nope, we're good, okay. thought there was. Uh, hello? Whatever. I thought I was going to that guy, but it's fine. So like I said, I'll just kill everything. It's all good. No biggie. See, like, if you're not a stealth game, that's what you need to be doing if you include a stealth section. You include a part where if you just fuck it, it's like, whatever, just do it and you'll be fine. Don't make them redo it over and over and get busted by your dumbass, nondescript, fucking broken ass vision cones or something. Item orb. I need it in my life. I'll get it later. There's the old girl. There's the ride. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. What have we here? Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear a path for the Regalia. Sounds like one of them plans I can get behind. Whoa, hello. Not really. See if I give a shit. Guess what, I don't. Oh. 
Let them do the work for us. Uh, where's that? Where's that meant to go? Everything about this fight, this OST, yeah, right? This game just, when it gets everything right, it's great. It's so good. Oh, it's one of these ones. Awesome. Oh. Oh. Get blasted. What other enemies you got? God damn it, get shittered on. I hate you so much. Oh, you know what? Fuck you, man. Better turn on the stream. Uh, hello? Can I attack this guy? Thank you. <laughs> I wanna kill you. There you go. Blasted. What else we got? Where are all the enemies? Where are the enemies? Tell me where to kill. You're dead. We'll take out the generator and all enemies in the area. Not. Focus your efforts on the generator. There's a chance doing so will weaken the MTs. No more stealth. Our cover's low. Go to town. Yes, sir! Let's not fight an entire garrison. Ten minutes later. Fuck it, let's kill everybody. The entire base is fair game. Hold nothing back. The havoc kicks the enemy off balance. Alright, anyways. Wow, I'm gonna one shot these guys. Even better. Not gonna try to kill Whoa! Dude, I do so much damage. Occasionally. Eat shit. Next up on our little parade, what we got over here. More items, perhaps. The Cerberus isn't until uh, next base, right? Chapter six. I believe that's the case. Oh yeah, and then the good OST kicks in. Serious business. Is for. What the hell? Whoops. Trying to target his little red brain thing. Wait for the carry. Trying to target. No. Hello? I dodged part of it. Why didn't it give me the uh area? Oh you soldiers are annoying me. Everyone regroup! I could just kill the generator, but it's more fun to not kill the generator. No, I'm not summoning. You have to summon at some point, it'll force you, but I'm not summoning. I want someone until it makes me. Pronto's barely hanging on. Biggie, go for it! Make it, 
Yeah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! No, 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 no! Oh. I was worried for a second, and I was like, no, did the game crash? Why? Uh, but that's unfortunate, because it looks like the oil disappeared. I was gonna make fire magic and make it go kablooey. Yeah, thank god, not a crash. Oh, the... You're still there. Oh yeah, here's the summon. It's not weird with the PC version, so sometimes it does that for me, I don't know why. 99% of the time, it's fine. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna hang for 10 seconds, hold up. It's like in Final Fantasy IX when one character unleashes what is basically a nuke. This is the might of the six. Dude, that was hardcore! And it did the trick. The place is dead. Rest in pieces. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. The place is dead. Yeah, no shit. Regalia is probably dead too. Piece of cake, huh? That was a go notice. This part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Uh, there's a base, we go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever, I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. Prompto is special. What effect does Prompto have on him right now? Uh, why do I have warp points? I can't use them. Oh no, I can't use them. Why can I warp point out of battle? What? What? Whoa. Is this normal? This is so weird. You can always do that in Imperial bases? Oh, okay. Damn, I thought it was like this glitch and I'd be able to go to Death Guy and just start warping around. That would've been fucking cool. Uh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravest. You receive the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an Imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, I command. The King's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Wanna go? Let's do it! Should the Chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? 
Ravis Nox Fleuret, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. At long last, the Imperial blockades of Disgaean roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to leave their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. Man, Ravis. What a dickbag, but also what a cool character. I understand his motivations. He's a relatable character. Very tragic, too. Best Tony says, because this game is awesome when you're inside the bases. Yeah, it literally, it's like, okay, we got this dial that says, like, awesome or just good. Uh, well, we can't have it on awesome all the time. That'll wear out the engine. We'll put it on good, and then we'll just turn it for the awesome for those, uh, for the, those Imperial bases. That's that's infrequent enough that we can do that, right? And then someone else says, yeah, and they're like, cool. Yeah, the Ravens bot fight's really good. It does remind me that I need to use Cheat Engine to uh, get Ravis into my party, because for whatever reason, Ravis is the only character like this, but you can actually de-equip him of his weapon and just take it. So I need to get that just cheat engine him into my party, take the weapon, and kick him out, and then have a cool sword. That'd be hilarious if it stayed that way, and then when I did the boss fight in episode Ignis, he just had no sword. <laughs> that would have been cool. Pretty sure that's kept fairly separate, though. Roads are all oh, wet, yeah. that's cool. Let's go parking. Oh, catch your breath. Fantastic parking job, Noctis. Not even close to a parking spot. Welcome. Uh, you have... What does this do? Radically boost fuel efficiency. Actually, no. Nah. Thank you, kindly. Sure. 14 music's good, so we'll keep it. I want potions. Where are you in your playthrough? Come again. <sighs> Interesting music to be playing at the moment. Start to stay left. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm getting there. I think we'll call it for now. It's 4 o'clock in the morning for me, and it's about time to go to bed. Plus, we're going to get into more story stuff once I go in there. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, won't be streaming tomorrow night because I need to get up early for Wednesday morning. But, uh, I'll be back soon. I'll probably stream Dark Souls next, but I do want to get this playthrough on the way so I can see that Royal Edition content finally. So, once again, thank you for watching. I will see you all soonish, and I will try to get a E3 Reactions video uploaded to YouTube in the near future so we can all talk about that and have jolly good fun times. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to praise the sun. Still haven't done that. Yeah, no. This is the same playthrough that I started to get to the royal content. I know, right? That's why I'm playing it now. I'm like, no, fuck this. I'm playing some goddamn Final Fantasy 15. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to praise the sun, everybody. See y'all next time. Bye.